So in this video, we are going to review the billing information in Office 365. So let's go and sign into Office. Go to portal.office.com or office.com just straight. <coughs> So we go to admin and click on billing and we're going to review what's in the billing. So in billing on the main tab it's, it tells you like uh, for uh, purchase services. So these are the services that you can purchase. <clears throat> so to compare like if you want to compare three side by side and you can see E3, E5 license and you click it's quite a uh, one was like 50 some dollar right there 57 so if you can see what's uh, like I found out business premium is actually a step put down than business let me actually let's show the, let me show you this then we're gonna do side by side with business and business premium so you see that there is always something more in e3 and e5 licenses that's why it costs so much it's plan one for exchange and this one is plan two i don't know what's in there we can see if uh, oh if its mailbox is 50 gb each where is 100 gb uh email in place archive unify you unif ums unified messaging service etc so that's why they cost a lot more and then it's plan one drive let's see one drive it's one terabyte this is unlimited for E3 and E5 licenses. With SharePoint, it's plan one and plan two. Again, it will be for the sites like, uh, okay, there is no. So e Discovery does not work for our business. Well, it should have, but well, Teams, everything is same. Azure, Small Business Premium P1, P2. Microsoft Intune and all that so basically you can like side by side do the comparison and then choose which one you want to buy select different products we go back we remove E3 and E5 and we add just compare it to this is like this is business premium that is that I signed up for so you see it's five use five 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 everything is five so the difference is not much they are everything is going same for some reason but uh, for the Azure Active Directory this is what I wanted to show you this is for small business but there is no Azure Active Directory what does it mean is if you remember we were trying to password right back to our on-premises Active Directory and it didn't work that was the reason so I thought that business premium is better than business but uh, if we find look at this business premium 1250 and business is 20 so that's where I was mistaken so business premium is not better than business business is better actually so for this is where if you want to make more uh, you want to add or purchase more services in office 365 apps and services you see premium month month to month and all that so visual plans if you don't know visual visual is a uh, it's uh, if you ever done the flow charts it's for that and there are other services that you can go get product and services these will be that I already have I yes okay so you see I have team yes commercial and you see it's like 500,000 I have to give away <laughs> Uh, office 365 business premium trial I have this one so this is like I have only 25 licenses and this is Windows Store for business this is for life it's like individual user subscription so everybody has it and that user they can activate it by user in your company so they can get that so <clears throat> here are like your um, tools to 
customize the search results if you have like so many if you large organization and they have bought a lot of services next one is apps there's nothing we did not buy any app did not buy any more softwares now. and with <laughs> with business premium we have do not have access to azure like as a services so this is the licenses tab and it gives us a, an overview of what we have like we have 15 assigned out of 500,000 and we have assigned 14 out of 25 licenses of business premium next is billing and payments I have not enter my credit card information so that's why you cannot see anything but this there will be um, the over here invoices will be based on user were active in the past month so for example first month you had only five user active so you will be charged five raised multiplied by 1250 in, in this uh, uh, premium but next month you uh, you had 14 uh, so last three months uh, it will say something like five user multiplied by 250 next one is like 14 by 1250 and then third month fourth month six months so on so it will always based on how many users you had active at the time so with your organization might want to remove um, licenses once a user is no longer with the company to save money in that matter payment method they will have their like how they want to pay 365 it will be added here you can add from here and billing profiles would be like uh, uh, click on it so billing account what kind of account it is and all that bill to address payment method is that a bank account is that checking account is a business account is a credit card all that let's cancel it the next one is billing accounts same like overview of it will give you a quick overview of all the billing account so maybe you are paying office 365 from one account and you are using azure active directory or something from the other account everything will be listed here so it's just like right now it's just one account listed so the payment method again it's like everything was in there over here it was like everything uh, listed and this is like individual tabs payment method again like it's a checking account or it's a credit card or what or saving account <laughs> all right billing notification like at, so who do you want that notification to be sent to and they will receive a an invoice or statement every month so this is an overview of billing it's real simple real easy you don't have to do anything it will be there you just have to add or moves rarely all right so if this video has helped you please recommend subscribe and share and you have a good day good night actually